What is up, bitches? Welcome to Not Really Epileptic Hi. Gaming. But yes, your mic is on, you I, fucking... I can't hear myself. Jackass. You have to... You can't hear yourself? Well, I'm not as loud as you are. That's because I'm the world's loudest human yeah, motherfucker, but... and you better not forget it. All right. Fair enough. Fair enough, indeed. What's up, guys? Welcome to uh, something a little bit different. This is DJ Weed and Suma's call-in show. And, we don't uh, have a name. We have absolutely no... Are you sure my mic levels are fine? Oh, my God, dude. <laughs> yes, I I'm hear just saying, you. I... Your my clarity is not nowhere near your clarity. I I'm hearing it right out of my headphones, and it sounds good. All right, I will trust in it. Then. I sound good. Maybe I'm freaking out. I I think you sound pretty good through my headphones. I just don't I don't like the uh, you see how you cut you see the see how the stand is. I don't like the stand on mine. I like yours. I want the adjustable thing. What are you talking about? That I thing right there? Yeah, it's hard to tell with the overlay. Get the. All right, overlay piece. There See that? Go. See, I, I can't. Like, I like, I like to be able to go like this. Yeah, you like to be able to deep throat it. I understand. Yeah, guys. Uh, of course, we gave you the breaking news yesterday about uh, call and brawl. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that was, oh, that's not a bad name. So that's right out the box. And, you know, maybe we should just start off with that, Mr. Robert Suma. Maybe we should start off with the, uh, you know, what we what we were talking about. We would do, and that is. Um, well, first off, let me explain what the fuck you're, you're listening to. So, uh, of course, if you uh, heard yesterday's show announcement, you heard that uh, we're switching formats a little bit. We're going to a weekly format. First time we're going to have this, quote, unquote, oh. weekly show is going to be Thursday. Um, you'll be able to tune in then. And uh, so, yeah, we're doing our call-in shows on Tuesday. And our first order of business was actually, well, aside from opening up the phone lines, which I should probably open up Skype so yeah. that we can do. And you might want to put the number up. Um, I will do that in just a moment. But we thought what, you know, that we should let the viewers name this little I like show. call and brawl. I mean, that already. Did call that and brawl? already win? Call I, and brawl? I think people like it. Or faces for radio. That's not bad either. <laughs> 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 Fuck you. Uh, I like both of those, actually. Call and brawl, faces for radio. DJ Wheat, the show. <laughs> <laughs> I like that one, too. I kind of like call and brawl. I like that one. We've already got our first uh, We've already got our first caller, so uh, we got Jolie <laughs> on the line. Jolie, welcome to uh, the show here. What's up? So, hey, uh, there we go. We, what's to your left? There's what? like a big muscular guy. It's the guy that is from the fire off. team, you know. Yeah, from uh, Fire Team Reloaded. See, watch this. Remember? There you go. Yeah. Remember when we had them in? Yeah, we had them in. They, they that was a little like top-down 3D game um, that was like free to play. A bunch of people got in the beta. Fireteamreloaded.com. That's what is in the background. I'm. Oh, and um. Call and brawl. That's pretty damn good. Ooh. So we've got. Hold on. I'm gonna start that's taking. That's an easy one. Actually, to like maybe we get. Maybe we could get Cammy um, to uh, take some. Take some like a tally Notes. here. Yeah. yeah. Call and brawl. Put call and brawl down. Start. Oh, there we go. It's got a vote from Suma. It's got a vote go. from Jolie. Well, we have call and brawl. We have faces for radio. Faces for radio. That uh, one. The DJ Weed like. Show. DJ Weed Show. <laughs> of course. <laughs> fucking great name. <laughs> Anything that doesn't actually involve Suma's Wheat name. and queef. So what's up? What's up? Do you have um, some, Jolie? Do you have something? Else? Yeah, it's about um, high definition and. Um, Drop it on it really, me. Is it really a big noticeable difference? Oh my, oh god, my god! Are right. you? Ca uh, uh, hold on! What? Hold on! Because you're not even Does the owner Christ of a 1080. Have multiplayer you're, dog? Not, you're not even the owner of a 1080p TV. And I can TV. still say, "Oh you, my god!" That's how great it is. The, the real. The, the, what I'm really asking here is, um, if let's say if I want to go pick up a PS3 or an Xbox 360, right. um, is it worth getting it without getting a high definition? Without if you don't have a high definition no. TV? Um, Almost. Uh, no. Well, okay. It, it really depends on. Oh my God, camera's coming in to tell me something. <laughs> you want you just tell me, camera? I mean, this is sort of like unadulterated. I, uh, just you might have to ride the slider on the calls. Oh, why is it hot? Well, no. Just make sure you level them out. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Hogan Camera Carter. And uh, oh. fucking Faces for Radio for the win. Oh, oh. we got to vote for Faces for Radio. Snap. Oh, he likes that one. Um, all right. So, uh, Jolie, to answer your question uh, about high-definition television, you know, are you going to benefit from having 
uh, a high uh, HD TV if you own a PS3 or an Xbox 360? The simple answer is, of course, yes, you are. You're going to be able to get 720p. You're going to possibly even be able to get 10, uh, 1080p. I just lost my... What happened to the music? Oh, well. I lost it. I Hold mean, the reason I asked it is because I haven't, I haven't really played a console game for a couple of years. I've all I've been uh, staring at is this pixelated monitor that I have. Okay. <laughs> Dude, and, what? And, and that's just not doing it for you. Well, okay, so here's what you got to know. You're going to get the most out of your PS3 or your 360 with the high-definition television. Whether the high-definition television is 720p or 1080p, you're still going to get the most uh, out of it with an HDTV. Now, with that being said, um, you, you, know, you don't have to have an HDTV to fully, you know, to, to, to enjoy the systems. You are going to notice if you watch even a Blu-ray uh, on standard definition television that it is still going to look considerably better than what than say a DVD. So you are going to get the even with standard definition, you get a little extra oomph, but you're not going to get the full like unless what I your HD TV and what I always equate it to is the difference between black and white and color TV. You know, it's like once you had a color TV in the house, there was no going back to black and white. Once you have an HD TV and you've seen it, there's no going back to standard def. And you, you almost demand that everything be in HD and you get upset when things aren't in HD. So what kind of a television do you have now? Um, some shitty five or six year old big one standard like big one as in like projection or what? CRT, you know the big ones. Okay, um, a big CRT. So like a thirty-two yeah. inch or something like that. Um, about yeah. All right. So like, is the best input you've got on this TV an S video input? Um, I really have no idea about that stuff. Okay. Uh, well, you mean he doesn't even know if HD is better. We All right. Well, I understandable, understandable. But that's why we're here to help. Um, so I would suggest, you know, don't hold out. Don't be one of those guys that's not going to buy a next gen system just because you don't have an HD television. I think that that is a mistake because you could still enjoy the features of both the 360 and the PS3 as well as the games on an SD television. Um, you know, you are just going to get how it was intended for you to be seen if you uh, if you have a high definition television. So what you're going to want to find out first off is what's the best input your TV can take. If you're saying it's five or six years old, I'm going to take a wild guess, a shot in the dark and say that it's only S video only. What people don't understand about standard definition television is that sometimes it does look better than HD television, and I'm going to tell you why. When you use S-Video, it actually softens the picture. It's imagine if you put like a uh, some sort of a Photoshop filter over a screenshot to soften it. What that's going to do is it's going to complete – it's going to almost like you have this old-school anti-aliasing built in at that point because it softens the picture. Um, so from that, you know, from that aspect, I guess there's – you could say that there's an advantage to having these next-gen consoles on SD television. You're just not going to get the best out of the console without an HD television. But it shouldn't hinder uh, you getting one. All you right. Know? I mean, uh, Suma, do you, do you agree, like – when it comes down to it, if you can't, should you have an HD television? Fuck yes. Please, go out well, and get yeah, one. Yeah, I mean, like, if you want to play Call of Duty 4, there's only, really only one option, you know? All these new games that are coming out, your only option is to buy an HD or a, a PS3 or 360. But and you, you know say that, and, and, and we'll, like, you people, say that like you can't play them on an SD, on an SD no, set, No, but like people mentioned also in the forum, I mean, you know, they don't even really sell standard definition TVs anymore. And you know eventually you're going to get an HD TV. So whether or not you get a 360 or PS3 now and you don't have HD, you're probably going to have HD in the next couple years, right? Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, yeah, I, I assume they still look good because, you know, standard def over um, my new HD DVR looks fine now, whereas <laughs> before it looked all crappy. Right, yeah. right. So, Joey, hopefully that gives you a little bit better insight to it. Yeah. Uh, I was hoping but, to go grab a 19, uh, 20, about 20-inch high-definition TV from Walmart. All right, so listen. <laughs> if you're going to do that, I want you to check on one thing for me, all right? Just because yeah. it's LCD does not necessarily mean that it's 720p. A lot of these really shitty, low-end LCD television manufacturers will still give you very, very crappy resolution. So 
do me a favor and make sure no matter what, if you whether it's a 19 inch or a 20 or a, or a 40, it's got to have at least 720p. To maximize your output, you want to get 1080p, but you're probably not even going to see that on sets until you're hitting like the 32 inch range. So now, Suma, you've got. You've got a West. Uh, what do you've got? Because you've got a 720p. I got a Magnavox uh, flat panel HD LCD. It's about two to three years old. It only does 1080i, and I set that thing for 720p. If it does 720p, it does 1080i. Yeah, so I do 720p. I right. rock the I rock the p. And it, what's yeah? Um, well, you I remember a couple uh, probably about a month or two ago. You guys were saying the difference between p and i. And said like um, one of them uh, when they go through the refresh, the um, screen refreshing. You're at, yes, um, that is correct. So does both it the really, odd and the even? Exactly. So interlacing is this. Interlacing means that, and if you look really close at your CRT television, you're going to see this. You're going to see these individual lines that are going across the screen. What interlacing means is that it's doing all of the odd lines. It's refreshing the odd lines, and then what happens is it refreshes the even lines. That is called an interlace refresh, basically. So it's doing the odds, then it's doing the evens, then it's doing the odds, then it's doing the evens. And what you're going to find is that this will sometimes cause screen tearing um, because it's not updating all the lines at the same time. It can, uh, you know, not necessarily cause slowdown, but it can just like affect the picture. You can see the difference. Progressive means that every single line is getting updated at the same time. So you can imagine. 1080p stands for 1080 lines of resolution that are updated all at the same time. What that basically translates to is a really fucking awesome looking picture. And there you got it. And uh, I have a right. we have a cable question. And you know what? You know what? <laughs> the more you know. So we so. have a cable question that I'm sure. All right. Well, hold on. Let me get Jolie right, off. Oh, okay. And uh, so Jolie, uh, thanks for calling in. The first official Thank caller. You. To Call and Brawl. We, we, do we know the name of this yet? <laughs> so far, it's a tie. Call and Brawl. Come on, Call and Brawl. All right. I think, I think you, most people you, want dog. Call and Brawl. All right. Uh, Jolie. Thanks, guys. Peace, dude. Peace. Phone talk, to you. Uh, talk to you. Talk to you. So there's a question, and in, in, uh, I got to stick them, that you might be able to answer. Okay. Uh, he says, I received my HDMI to DVI cable today. Ooh. How do I switch from the computer to the PS3? Hmm. How do I switch from the computer to the PS3? All right, first and foremost, dog, um, it would be, really be better if this person called in. Is, okay. Can this person call in? Uh, I don't know. I need can to ask mean? some questions in order to answer this one effectively. I, I told him call in. Okay. Yes, Did, what, 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 yes. He, he said yes. Okay. All right. <laughs> call in. Uh, you can see we've got the telephone number, 866-405-4445. Phone and stone. You can also Skype. Ooh, phone and stone. Now, I like I like Call and Brawl a little bit better. Every, uh, yeah, all the, all the new names are basically modifications of Call and Brawl. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Except for Faces for Radio. Epileptic Calling isn't bad. That's been another no, one. No, that's, that's fucking. Calling out that's the closet. Weak sauce. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Okay. Uh is this person calling? Dial in style. What what's with the rhyming? Oh, is this a, is it Action radio? Bastard? Yes it is cuz I talked to him. Oh, he right. said restricted call. What does right. that mean? We got Action Bastard on the program. What's up, dude? Holy What's going on, oh, fellas? Oh, wow. What is that? Noise? I've got all sorts of crazy. All right. What's up, dude? Not too much, man. I just wanted to uh call and comment really primarily on the uh influx of Fanboys, R really 360 fanboys. Okay, uh -oh. please comment. Uh oh, this is not going to end well. <laughs> okay, um, short story long is uh, I had six 360s. Wow. All right. I six. bought it. I at launch, <laughs> uh, you know, the, the first time I had it, the thing wouldn't play perfect dark. Now, don't oh, judge well, me on my game. You weren't choices. missing anything there. That, they, they were actually it, doing you a favor with I, that I, one. I understand it was like one of the only games out. Okay, I had it too. All right. Call of Duty too was really the only thing playable for that. I had that yeah. as well, but yeah, uh, you're right. You know, I went and uh, it wouldn't play the game. Whatever. I called support. They sent me another box, and you know this kind of continued and continued and continued. Uh, right. Up until my fourth box, which they sent me. <laughs> A, a Japanese unit that wouldn't play any of my games or DVDs. Well, can I ask you a question? What What is the timeline on this? Like, when? At what good point did you hit your fourth box? Like, what? Yeah. What year was that? What? 
When was that? That was, I, I hit my fourth box the middle of uh, 07. Okay. So when does it go into your mind that maybe, you know, there's other consoles out there, your 360 keeps breaking? You know, where where's the breaking point for you, do you think? For for me, it, it really was, was at the fourth. At the fourth. I one. mean, <laughs> honestly... <laughs> It was a 28th I mean, Xbox I, for I've me. Never, I've never really, had that problem. You know, but I haven't I, either, dude. I know when things like go wrong for me with certain products or certain programs or whatever, I give up after you know a few times. And it just seems like everybody just keeps getting a new one, keeps getting a new one, and keeps shipping it back and keeps shipping it back. Like, Well, it's like that process, when they bring it to you, it, it seems to work. You know, It's like, this is all that right. I've got. I've already dropped $400 into it. Right. All right, I, I understand wait three that. weeks for, you know, who, whatever his name is and wherever he is to send me this coffin to mail it back in. So it's like after my fifth one, I just said, you know, this is enough. I traded it in, got me a PS3. Nice. And it broke. And, <laughs> <laughs> and it won't play Blu-rays. No, um, that would be a problem. That would suck. What's, what, what's, what's so irritating is... All of the people or all of the hate that kind of comes out on the PS3 for no real reason. It's like, I'm going to be mad at Sony PR. I'm, I'm going to personify the PS3 and I'm right. just going to talk smack about it because either I can't afford it. They, I, don't, I don't understand the argument they have. Like, they don't even have arguments anymore, the, the anti-PS3 people. You know, it's usually just you have no games or, oh, my God, look at your sales numbers last month. Well, no, no, now it's, it's PSN. I've yeah. been I've been thinking about this, you guys. Uh, I've been thinking about this actually quite a bit. You know, I mean, you know, and Suma, I'm sure you can relate with this. People think that we are this fucking diehard duo of fanboys, yeah. but you know what? At the end of the day, I give credit where credit is due. Exactly. And and if Nintendo was doing this, we'd be all over Nintendo's right. nuts. If now, Nintendo had the PS3, and we do, you know, we get all system. over Nintendo for their online capabilities. But right. I want to I want to do a little like rewind. I want to do a little flashback because right. I. Re remember when it was Super Nintendo versus Sega Genesis. Yeah, yeah. And I was one of those diehard motherfucker like SNES guys that were just like, yo, dog, like the, the Genesis just don't even compare. I didn't give a fuck. I played whatever <laughs> game was and the I, best and, on that I, system. And you're right, because there were a lot of games that were only on the Sega. Uh, right, you it know, was much Sega. more exclusive heavy Exactly, yeah. it was. Yeah. Um, and there, were, there weren't as many cross-platform games. Nope. And the funny thing was, is when there were cross-platform games, there was glaring differences. Oh, yeah. Let me put one out there oh, for yeah. you. Uh, Street Mortal Fighter 2, <laughs> fucking Mortal Kombat. Yeah, Mortal Kombat on the SNES had no blood. But on the Genesis, it looked like fucking dog dookie. You know, it was absolutely the worst thing that I had ever seen. I now, will say I played more Genesis, though. Rewinding, now, I am I definitely was more Super Nintendo's just because, like, Final Fantasy, RPG started yeah, coming see, out, etc. I didn't care about that. But you know what? I just think that there is never, ever, 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 ever going to be a decline in fanboyism, no. whether that be... It, it goes across the board for everything. System, uh, I mean, it goes exactly. comic books, movies, it's fucking everything. Coke and Pepsi. Exactly. Can you really give me a legitimate <laughs> reason why Coke is better than Pepsi? Well, Pepsi's a little sugary taste. You know, yeah, sweeter. we could go and talk yeah, that, sweeter. but at the end of the day, it's just up to the consumer to make a choice. And you know what? I just decided that every single console discussion, unless it's brought up and we're talking about specific points, and Suma, I know you agree, but at least I think you do, if there is a game worth playing, exactly. then you got to play I, it. Yeah, I mean, but, if there's a game that's exclusive to the 360. Right, right. I'm going to play it. it really but, hold on, that, but that, hold on, hold on. But uh, let I me know. say something else. It, you do not have a car that you drive to work and one car that you take to go get groceries and right. one car that right. you go to the park in and right. one car that you go to the right. beach in. Right. You have one car that sort of does it all. Maybe you have two. I don't and have three drive TVs that I switch right. back and forth. So with that being said, each person is still going to buy their own car and this car is going to be their primary mode of transportation. Right. Gaming is very simpler. They're going to buy si or similar. Too. They're going to buy. Uh, yes, thank Thank God they're going to buy a console that works for them. Maybe they're not a movie watcher, so Blu-ray is not something exactly. that necessarily. Maybe they maybe, like Xbox you know, Live a lot. And the maybe they, they don't have. care about online gameplay. We is great for you, you know. And so 
I just so don't you even don't know. You don't care like, about games if you got a Wii. Yes, you're right. <laughs> you're absolutely right about that. And I think that the heated fanboy debates got so out of control in the last quarter of last year because it was the battle of the exclusives. Now we're sitting here going, um, everything's fucking cross-platform now. Where do we go from here? It really here? comes down to the simple thing of people are jealous of people that have money or have something they don't. And the PS3 cost so much <laughs> that it was... No, this is true. I think this that's is, a little, no, it's a little not. too far, <laughs> no, buddy. No, it's not. I don't think it is. I think people were just, you know, I couldn't afford one, have one, so I'm just going to bash this everyone is, that does. This is why I think you're wrong, Simon. I mean, this is why I think you're wrong. Because in your own hometown of New York City, I saw more people with PSPs than I because saw PSPs with PSPs are cooler. And but PSPs cost significantly more than right. a DS. Exactly. So... That doesn't mean people were. Happy. I don't think the price has anything to do with it. I think the price, price was an easy. I think the price though is keeping people from buying it so much. No, I think the price isn't keeping people from buying it because the price doesn't keep me from buying a twenty-seven hundred dollar HD television. But what the price does is it gives ammunition for the other jack tards that don't even care about getting X system to say, oh well, it's this much. You know, oh, it, it costs too much. You know, I, I personally feel like it's a, a, it's a blank that guys load into their guns because and you, it doesn't matter. And you know, but, but you the know why the fanboyism matters in see. itself is because I know there's so many nubs out there that go into GameStop and just base all their opinions on hearsay. So I think that's why you and I and maybe some other people get upset with extreme fanboys that are just completely out of whack. Because they have so much influence over maybe five nubs that hang around them. Right. And think that, oh, well, the PS3 has no games. My buddy said it doesn't have games, so therefore it doesn't have games. Right. And yeah. I'm all for fanboys. It, it's, it's just the lack of just, I mean, to, to go back to the, to the Genesis SNES days, you know, it, it, it wasn't, it was about the games. You, you, you knew what game was better. It wasn't off of the merits of what your right. buddy had or having to pay I, for live. I didn't play the PS2 right. all the time. I I have, throughout my entire life of video gaming, since I could even remember, all I did was play the games I wanted on whatever system it came on. That's about it. That The fact that the, the reason I'm so high on the PS3's nuts is because, like we just said, <coughs> every, almost everything is cross-platform at this point. Uh, you know, I prefer I prefer bad. a high definition DVD format. The PS3 has Blu-ray built in. You know, it, it has all these features and these yes. things that allow me to enjoy it more than just video games. Because quite frankly, you know, playing video games, maybe I'll play two to four hours a day at most. The rest of the time, you know, I'm watching TV or I'm watching a movie. And I don't know. To me, just the, the PS3 is a simpler machine. I like it. I enjoy the, uh, you know, the interface, the atmosphere. It's just something about it. Now, it doesn't have Bioshock though. It doesn't have Mass Effect. That there's, doesn't there's bother all, me. Those all games, I don't care. See, but, but uh, I don't care about those games. That may have mattered three months ago, but doesn't matter right now. That's what doesn't matter right now. Now, if you haven't played those games, you want to go back and play it. Great. Yeah, it does matter. But I also think that, you know, I, it, that 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 is such an in the moment type of an argument, right? Because who's really playing Bioshock now? All, all the people that I know have played through it maybe twice over. You yeah, know? I mean, I was playing, that's when I was playing mostly my 360 was in the summer, or and before that even, when the 360 had more games and had better games to play. And, right. And I, I mean, had experience. Right now, that, the 360 doesn't have anything I for also, me to want to spend time on. I also know that Bioshock, and I'm not talking, this is not anti-PS3 by any means. I'm just throwing it out there because the same could be said for Uncharted. If I said Uncharted, well, Uncharted's a fucking eight-hour experience. Just borrow a PS3 or go rent one and, and play it if you want to play that game that bad. You don't have to own the, the, the console. But it... it yeah, I don't know. I mean, I guess we could probably sit here and fucking talk shit yeah, about this could. all day. Long, I, I, so. you know, we don't. Wa I don't want to make it seem like we're bashing one system or other. We're just, you know, we voice our opinions. You say we. we you're bashing. All you're right. bashing. Well, I mean, some I of that bash. is to for show and all that. But I mean, I think deep no, I down, see how it is. you know, deep down, it's like, I don't. I forget the point I was making. You threw me off. Awesome. Thank you very much <laughs> for calling, uh, Action Bastard. By the way, I love your Skype icon. Hey man, appreciate what it. Buddy. Is it? What is it? It's like a little Mario. Hold on, I can oh, I, I can actually no, I, see it. I can bring it up. So no, well, that, now everyone else it. wants to know what the fuck Who it cares? is. So. That's Mario. <laughs> Boom! There it is, right there. You can see it right there. Wee wee wee. Is he wee. naked? 
He's got like a blue oyster cult type thing going on, little leather studded hat and hairy chest. So, all right, dude. Appreciate it. All right, let's have a good one, man. Peace, dog. Bye. Um, I really want to talk to this one caller about the cable issue. And uh, we already got a, a, a new call. So, Andrew, uh, welcome to uh, I wish the we had that, unnamed show I wish as we had of that now. gay walking segment we could do. Hello. <laughs> uh, hey, yeah. Um, I have kind of a, a bit of a weird question, but it's about uh, games from the past. Is it and, Canada? Um, All right. I was looking at the releases to boot. I was looking at the releases for 2008, and I looked at the releases for 1998. And it seems to me like there's not as many good games coming out anymore. Well, I would. That's debatable. I what you guys that's pretty about that. debatable. Well, uh, yeah. So, I mean, there's a the nostalgia on, on. factor Let's, you got to throw no, in no, there. No, 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 no. You got to think of it from this perspective, from a hardware perspective. I mean, come on, guys. This is an easy one. 1998. What was out back then? That would have been the. Uh, that would have been right at the birth of the PlayStation 2. It would have been right around the time that the first Xbox was coming out. So, name me some of the games that are on that list. Okay. Um, He's saying Unreal there's no and Half Life and Metal Gear Solid. Which Metal Gear Solid? Like two or the three? The first one. What? Metal Gear Solid? Wait, I don't understand the argument. He's trying to say there's no good games now? That less good well, games no. are coming Are you out. kidding? Less good the games, The industry right? just saw a record-breaking holiday. I don't even fathom where that's coming from. By far, yeah, games at, today are so much better than... Maybe they, if you let the caller explain himself, he would be able to... If you look at the games that are coming out now, okay, they look great, but... It's 10 play. years since Unreal came out, and everyone thinks that's a great game. Does everyone still think that the games that are coming out this year are going to be great in 10 years' time? What? I don't know. That's such a weird argument. Maybe when I go to the future, we can answer that question. <laughs> I mean, that's such a weird argument. I think... I oh, think, God, no. No, I think what you're saying, Collar, and, for, and correct me if I'm wrong, but you're, you're, you're mentioning that in 1998, that was the beginning of the classics, Half Life is considered a classic. UT99 is well, considered a classic. Well, they set standards for that time, right? Yes. I mean, that's basically kind I, so, of what he's saying. Caller, is this correct in assuming that you're asking, did, is, did anything come out or is anything coming out that will be considered a quote unquote classic? Yeah, yeah, that's pretty much what I'm asking. Okay. You wouldn't say, you wouldn't. So I actually. You wouldn't say COD4 is setting a new standard with multiplayer? But. COD four. I mean, I understand the I understand the benchmarks and the accomplishments that like something like Half Life. I don't think he's made, talking about. It's not even the benchmarks, the accomplishments. It's the fact that Half Life, Gordon Freeman, Black Mesa, the uh, right. you know the concept of the game is timeless. Like you sure. talk to gamers, they seem to know about this. Unreal ninety nine. You know, a, a similar. You don't think people will the do original that with Metal Gear Solid. I don't know. That's what I'm asking. I think Bioshock's a rather forgettable game, to be I honest I do, too, with but you. I feel like other people, you know, it seems like, you know, praise but, it like a golden but, calf. But that's why this is where it comes down to, like, the timeless classic. I guess it. I guess it. it we have to define what is a timeless classic. Well, I mean, classic. it's hard to say right is now. Is Counter-Strike a timeless now, classic? We'll have to say that, though. How could we say that now? How could we possibly say that now? He's asking our opinion on whether or not any of the games that are coming out now or in 2008 are setting themselves up to be a timeless classic. GTA I don't think 4 might don't Spore, know, you know, I don't Spore, know. GTA 4, Little Big Planet. You don't think Little Big Planet will be a revolution? He's not anything? saying there aren't. He's asking. I'm telling you. I'm answering. What? I don't you're understand. asking with a fucking question, or you're answering with a question. So what? Politicians do that all the time. What? <laughs> <laughs> well, last time I checked, you weren't running for president. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, jackass. <laughs> Caller, uh, I think actually Suma brings up Little Big Planet. That's definitely, you know, I think that that uh, has the capability of being a classic title that a lot of people are going to know about. I think Suma is kind of right with the whole Call of Duty 4. I think that Call of Duty 4 has basically taken a giant fucking shit on console multiplayer and said, top that, bitches. And, I mean, the proof is in the headlines because today... Da, da, da. Call of Duty 4 beat out uh, Halo 3 is the most played game on Xbox Live, bitches. Put them in a body bag. God, I yeah, was just waiting. Yes, I was. Uh, I was waiting for that moment to come. And hold, hold on, Suma. Is Wait. that? Is that? Yeah, that. That's that's that's. I hear myself. 
I hear what? myself saying, I told you so, bitches. Yeah, we all said this. And yeah. remember a few months ago, I came in. I'm like, wait, isn't it? I, you know, I was on my Xbox the other day, and there was no, nobody playing no Halo No one's 3. playing Halo Everyone's 3. Everyone's playing COD4. And then we mentioned on the show, and people called, no, see, people are still playing Halo 3. No, Halo 3 will always be on top. Halo 3 will always be on top. And let go. me just say, you know, I mentioned it in the in our on our page in the news post, you know, a cross platform game beating out Microsoft's elite, you know, Xbox 360 title. What up now? Not not so good. Not so, not good. so good. Not so good. Caller, uh, before I let you go, what games do you think are coming out that could be considered timeless classics? Any uh, game well, that like honestly, I can't think of any off the top of my head. Uh, the ones that are coming out this year, I just think they'll be good, but classics maybe spore but i don't know all right well uh as suma said time will tell time will tell so all right thanks for the call bro uh, thanks guys. i think i Peace. think there's going to be some great games this year that are going to set that standard i mean we got the new gran turismo gta 4 little big planet home might come I out don't this year think i mean there's going to be gta some 4 could be a you never know classic. you never yeah, know i mean you're right i mean you they might know. introduce some aspects of gameplay that 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 flip the script again. Are so to speak. any are any um, sequels timeless classics? No, but they can introduce elements or you know. I mean, CD4 I guess if CD4 is basically right. reborn, right? Right. I mean, right. all right. Well, uh, we've got Jolie calling in again. Jolie, uh, did you not get enough questions answered the first time you called? Um, <laughs> first off, uh, yeah, can I ask Suma a favor? Yes. Um, when you go to the future, Suma, could you find out how um Uwe Bull dies? <laughs> Good, Please. good. We we will Can do that. Write that, write that down. Write and, that um, down. We will we will find out. Have you seen the video oh, about um um Jeff uh, Kaylee fighting with um Fox? Jeff Keeley, yes. Mass Effect. I didn't watch it, but Jeff Keeley, yes, that's his name. Is it? He doesn't good? like yeah. Jeff Keeley, but I do. You haven't you haven't guys watched it? Damn. I haven't watched it yet. No, I figure it's just he pwns somebody. I mean, Jeff's a smart guy. Doesn't surprise yeah. me. Yeah. Is he your idol? Uh, he might I would be say he's idol. my idol. Yeah, he might be. I think you know, so. I, I respect him. I, I like the work that he does. Yeah. I'm glad he doesn't, you know, sensationalize things. He's pretty straightforward. He's very hardworking, and he's a cool guy. He's, like, he's definitely one of the guys in the gaming industry that should, you know, deserve some respect. And he, and on top of that, I know it. when we were at the I World know. Cyber <laughs> Games 2007 USA Finals, I got to see the magistry that was Jeff Keighley. Now, that is not he, a fair representation. As he stood on stage with oh, Major Nelson that and said, <laughs> Warcraft 3, the Frozen Thorn. And Thorn. if you don't understand the joke, then, you know, and I think you understand it, Jolie, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. It's not the Frozen Thorn, bitches. It's the Frozen Throne. Maybe he's you a busy should. guy, he dude. He's it. a busy guy. It's <laughs> fucking Warcraft three for Christ's sakes. Like, hey, you know, we all everyone have our, we all have our moments. That. Everyone knows our that. Moments. Come on, everyone. I mean, come on, yeah. And Suma, you play a lot of Dota. You said. Yeah, I you played a lot play? of Dota. Yeah. You still, you, you still play? No, 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 I don't still play. No, What's that? I, I don't play anymore. Song? No, no, no. <laughs> do, do you still play? T dude, caller, you yeah, have yeah, absolutely you? my permission to tell Suma to go fuck himself right now. Do you, do you want me to go fuck myself? Huh? Tell Zuma. him. Yeah. Tell him. What? Tell I, him. Yeah. Oh, Tell I love him. you too. Tell him. Fucking hate you. Oh, oh. I hate you too. You, you, you teach me like this? Yeah. I'm tired of you. I do. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Fuck you. Anything? Okay. Yeah. Bye. Yeah, anything else? Coke All right. Nice knowing you. All right. Okay. Coke is better than Pepsi. I agree. Peace. Peace. It, yeah. yeah. Bye. You're not served, bitch. <laughs> All right. Uh, Who did? Me or him? I don't know. Oh. I think both of you guys, actually. <laughs> I'm um. So, uh, yeah. Well, we've got our next caller. I, 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 we, we have like no time to pause here, which is fine. That's that's. Well, we're cool. taking we a wanna, break at the hour. We're right? going to take a break at the hour. Okay. Um. But uh, I wanted to talk about the recent news. Uh, the big headlines on TMZ. Oh. On CNN. Amy Winehouse uh, going to rehab, everybody. No, Woo! it's not about Amy Winehouse. Oh. It's actually that if you guys haven't heard yet, Heath Ledger has passed away. <laughs> Um, no and, more Joker. And no more Joker. Uh, yeah, I want to talk about that a little bit more, but let's take Curb's phone call first. Curb's, you're on the air. Welcome to the show. Hey, yo, what up? Hey, um, what's going on? Not much. I want to get back to the uh, whole Call of Duty beating Halo thing. Please, let's oh, do. Please oh wait, do. hold on one second. Before we do that, 
Uh, ladies and gentlemen, if you've just tuned in, Call of Duty 4 has surpassed <laughs> Halo 3 as the as the most played game on Xbox Live. And to that we say, That's right, Halo 3. That's right. All right. Uh, what's up? What, what do you got to say about this? I, I just I want to ask you guys, do you guys really think it's a surprise? Actually, here's what I think, Caller. We, uh, uh, Suma and I, about what? Would you say about a month and a half ago, Suma, where we had this conversation? About what? About where we thought there is no way that Halo 3 is beating Call right. of Duty 4. Yeah. Right now. I mean, just as a straw poll, seeing right. you and I asking other people, seeing it in forums. I mean, where right. there's smoke where there's, there's the, fire. The, the point being is that I still believe, Curbs, to this day, that Call of Duty 4 surpassed Halo 3 uh, over a month ago. I think that Call of Duty 4 has surpassed Halo yeah, I'm 3. I'm shocked that uh, they came out and said in that. In 2007. I was shocked that Major Nelson actually reported yeah. that. I think that they were padding stats. I think, And, of course, you guys, this is fucking conspiracy theory to the max. You know, so you could call me full of shit if you want to. I'm just giving you my, uh, you know, unbiased opinion. I think that Microsoft saw Call of Duty 4 trump Halo 3 in online play, and I think they kept it under wraps until a point where you can't hide it. I think that there's just what's a, funny a, is that Halo Three still sold still sold more copies, right? So that means there's a lot know. of Halo Three discs collecting yeah, dust. Do. Oh, I mean, come on, the, of course yeah. there are, you know. But how many people played through fucking you know Super Mario and then it's collecting dust, you know, shit like that? I I I don't think that Halo Three had the legs. That Halo 2 had, Halo 1 had, et cetera, no. et cetera. It got passed. Halo it got three. surpassed. Halo 3 is basically Halo 2 and yes. Halo 1. Halo yes. 2 and That's Halo 1 were revolutionary in their own respects. Halo 2 had the best multiplayer at the time for any console, hands down. Yes. Then yeah. call it, and then, you yes. know, they, then they took that formula, you know, put a little extra little bells and whistles on it and released it. Whereas Call of Duty 4 actually took that formula and then just revamped it and just kicked ass with it and just blew Halo 3 out of the water. I mean, you stack them up and play them, and it's just, it's, it's wait, very Wait obvious. a second. It blew Halo... Wait, Call of Duty 4 <laughs> has beat Halo 3 as the most That's played Xbox Live game in the fucking world? No way. No. Yeah! No. Yes. No. It's true. All I'm right. crying, guys. Um, so, Halo 3 yeah. fans out there, sorry. By um, the way, I'm getting a PS3 soon. Good man. <laughs> All right, I'm just kidding. Right. <laughs> My 360 uh, is kind of boring. <laughs> All right, sorry about that. All right, well, I'll let you guys continue with the show. All right, hey, Curbs, uh, before you go, Yo. before you go. Yes. <laughs> All right, no, I'm serious. Peace. I'm serious. I'm serious this time. All right. All right. Okay, All right. peace. Um. Peace. Heath Ledger's dead, folks. Who? Heath Never Ledger. Never heard of him. Um, Never heard of him. Mumbles, hold on one second. Um, all right, let's take Mumbles' call. Yeah, Mumbles, he was found dead. Mumbles, what's up? Drugs are bad, folks. About um, COD4 beating Halo, it's it's about wait, time. Wait, what? About what, what? COD4 has beat Halo <laughs> as the as the most played Xbox <laughs> Live Let's game go. right now? Oh, my. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> All right, sorry. Um, yeah, I know. But do you have any stats on the PSN though? I mean, isn't it? No, and cool? actually, it's kind of it's what? kind of uh, you, what it's, I it's couldn't understand bummer. through his uh, horrible. I'll tell English. you. He asked if there are any stats on PSN yet, and, oh. and and I don't know. I don't think there are, and it's actually. I would guess COD4 is the most played. Oh I don't, yeah, you know, I don't yeah. know. COD4 is the most played. I would guess yes. Warhawks probably up there. Uh, see, yeah, yeah, but I I'd be I'd I'd love to see those stats. You know. Um, if anything, just to see what the numbers are comparative yeah, curiosity, to. Curiosity, I guess. To 360, you know. I, I, I mean, I definitely, uh, I think you're stupid to say that there's more people playing oh. on PSN than on live right now. And uh, Unreal 3 evidently did a whole lot better on PS3 than it did on PC. Evidently, yeah. uh, Unreal 3 during its first month sold around maybe 150 to 200 thousand copies on PS3, whereas the PC version was somewhere around the 60 thousand range. The that PC version is terrible. Yeah. Yeah. If that doesn't tell you something, I don't know what does for about PC uh, gaming. I was just hoping that you guys had some You're numbers for PSN. Bitch. 
because I, I think pretty much, you know, it's it's just the most played game everywhere right now. Yeah, it deserves it. It deserves I agree. it. The day <laughs> I saw yeah, that dude. day I saw it over the summer, I knew. I just knew. I just was behind it 100 percent after that. It, it was amazing. It's, a, it's, like it's been amazing ever since. All right. Yep. Anything anyway, else? it was a lad. Thank you, sir. Uh, Mustang wants to know if Final Fantasy XI online is any good. No. <laughs> no. It's not, dude. No. Don't. Avoid. Don't do it. All right. Uh, do, I got my pirates today. You got your pirates. Yeah, I got my pirates. Pirates of the Burning You know, sea. I want to stop taking phone calls for a second and talk a little bit about Heath, oh. Heath Ledger. Right? All right. Um, is it serious time? I don't know. I just, you oh. know what? Heath Ledger uh, is dead from a uh, apparent drug overdose. Do you want to know the story? Well, his mas- there was a masseuse that came over. What? Hold on. You know what? This shit has changed every three minutes. Go to New York Times. I'm going to go to TMZ.com. No. Go to a reputable news source. Dude, TMZ is reputable, bro. Come uh, on. They you- were streaming taking Heath Ledger's body out of the apartment, okay? Do you get any more fucking legit than that? No. TMZ was streaming, okay? He did not commit suicide. Um, no. Oh. Heath Ledger was sick with pumo- uh, pneumonia. Pneumonia, thank you. Illiterate P- bastard. Pneumonia. I'm like, fuck it. That's why I'm. I don't read shit. Um, there it is. Heath's body's removed from the building. We. I have a. I have a uh, epic announcement from a user that is is requesting. Uh, yes. This could be the biggest news of the year. Uh, user Blot Eight wants to know if anyone in Wisconsin or anyone needs a roommate because he wants to leave Wisconsin. Okay. So uh, right. forget Heath Ledger right now. No, I, user Blot needs a roommate. I uh, so anyway, um, I, I want to talk about Heath Ledger because uh, there's a couple things that strike me as odd for this. First off, Heath Ledger, in my opinion, a very very talented actor who, uh, you know, I mean, has he been? I want to in- know how to quit you, Wheat. What? I want to know how to quit you. What are you saying? Brokeback Mountain. Oh, uh, God. Yeah, you I didn't see that. Pay one. attention, to okay? Anything? I don't watch gay cowboy. You don't movies have like to you see do, it bro. to know okay? that he was in it. I know that he was in it. No, you I didn't. didn't obviously. Okay, whatever. So, um, I, I, you know, first off, why is it all of a sudden okay to make a million dollars and then think that you can just pollute your body with a ridiculous amount of fucking heroin and cocaine, only to die? When when did that become? Like okay to do heroin and coke, yeah. What are you talking about? Like when did that become 88? okay? Eighty-eight to just make you know, hey, I'm a movie star. I'm a look at me. Oh yeah, look at me, and now I'm dead. You know, I, I, I really, um, you know, I just want to say that I think that Heath Ledger is um, kind of an idiot, and I, it's sad that he's gone. But I want to know why. He was alone, you hey. know why he would do that. I just, I, I, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. It's, hey, I, th- it's, I don't. I it's a it little happens. depressing. I think it's like I told you earlier. I think it's pressure. I think it's, you know, he he just got a divorce. You know, he has a kid. I don't. You know, it could be anything. I mean, just because they're celebrities and they have a little bit of cash doesn't mean they don't have the same problems you or I have. Dude, you know? if you are a and celebrity you and you have amount of cash, cash, you should not have any of the fucking problems that I have. All right? No, they have a whole new set of problems. Oh, like what? Oh, my God. Where am like, I going to spend my $5 billion? Dollars? <laughs> you know, well, buying I'm, I'm eight saying. kilos of Coke is not the answer, you fucktard. Well, he, that was the answer for him. It wasn't the, I don't know if it was the answer for him, but it's the answer for some people. It's their means of escape. You know, that's their... Whether or not we see it as right or wrong, you know, to them, it's not. I see. I mean, read that Nikki Six book. Seriously, that. I mean, that guy has issues. I've he, he wasn't doing drugs because they were there. He was doing them to escape reality because he was he had a he was fucked up in the head. Right. We you know we don't know Heath Ledger might have been fucked up in the head. I've seen a lot of actors on these red carpets, and it seems like ninety nine percent of them are should be like locked away in a psychiatric ward. Like they're just weird people, so it hmm. it doesn't exactly surprise me hmm. to see some of this stuff. Heath, rest in peace, brother. Uh, I'll start taking some phone calls again. Let's take this one. This is uh, from area code six one nine. What's up? You're on the show. Yeah, like hey, Britney Spears. What's up, guys? Yo, what's up, dude? Um, I've, I've, I I know you guys. Well, are hold on, about are you right running now. a race? 
I think he's calling from a, a CB radio. I think his, he's uh, running a race. Truck. Like, breaker, breaker, one I hear nine, like, breaker, one nine. Me? Yeah. Oh, I'm um, sorry, I guess. Um, but... He's calling from, like... Uh, yeah, I'm calling from the chopper guy, sorry. <laughs> Seriously, I'm you the are. Chopper. <laughs> we're, we're, we're over uh, Heath Ledger's sucks. apartment right now. He's calling from, like, right. Lithuania or something. If right. I was Heath Ledger, I'd be doing coke and I'd have a good phone. Sorry. Okay, that's it. Yeah, well, you would. that's right. You would. Little, little problem that you just solved because you're a millionaire. You've got a phone that works. All um, right. But I wanted to talk about um, Battlefield going at supported. So, yeah, because they're coming up right now. What, yeah, the, the cartoon. We... Yeah, I'm aware. I'm oh, okay. Aware. It looked you. like you were confused. No, I'm still trying to figure out like <laughs> if there is a helicopter. Or maybe there's like a thousand <laughs> animated mice that are running across his kitchen floor. I it's don't the know. The hamster that's powering. The um, phone. So, Dom, I'll tell you what. Since I can't even concentrate with the pitter patter of mice feet on the phone, <laughs> I'm going to answer this question, but I'm going to hang up on you unless okay. you would like to give your opinion on it first. Uh, no, I'll just let you answer. Okay. Thank okay. you, sir. Peace. All right. Get a better phone. Oh my God! Thank you. It's gone. <laughs> I think that this is awesome. All right? I'm going to tell you a couple reasons why. Now, is First, it browser-based or is it just I don't you know download? if they've talked about that yet. Oh, okay. They've said that it is going to be free to download. That could right. mean it's browser-based. That seems to be a trend. What about the other Battlefield? The, Battlefield 3 is being... The console version where like they blew up the wall and... Uh, bad Company? That? Yeah. Um, that's probably still coming out. So I guess that would be just console only then. Uh, they don't want two Battlefields compete on the PC, do they? I don't know. No, that one is console only. I think you're right. Uh, we might have to check into that to, do me, to, me, uh, to double check. But, yeah, you go ahead and look. So here's what I think. First off, you know, guys, add... I mean, let's be real, man. If you get a game for fucking free and because of it they're going to throw in an ad, there is nothing wrong with that. And I'm going to tell you why. You know, you drive down the street. You see a fucking ad for the Simpsons movie. You see an ad for, like, fucking dentists that yeah. are going to make your teeth white. You see an ad for, you know, the Terminator, the TV series. I see fucking ads for American Idol. You, you know, we already live in a world where we are absolutely surrounded and grossed by advertising. If a company is willing to give us a fucking game for free, and that means that there's going to be a fucking Whopper ad when I'm destroying <laughs> some fucking noob's face in my tank with this cartoony, cool-looking graphics that's like fucking T-Fortress 2. <laughs> there's only one way to feel about this. Happy. Yeah, you're not losing anything. You're not losing anything. And, and yeah, Battlefield Bad Company is console only. I have a feeling that's the way it's going to go. I have a feeling like... But, but you know what? Hold on. Console only. Hold on. There's going to be some free Hold stuff on, bro. Oh, my God. My... Oh, my mana potion just fucking fell. Son of a bitch. I was going to... Oh, boy. Oh, oh boy. I, I'm going to drink it off the desk, you guys. Oh, boy. Oh, oh God. That's not mana potion. He's... Uh, oh, my... Oh, my God. Clean off your nose. Um, I was going to say, uh, I happened to be peeping Kotaku prior to the show. And uh, let's see here. Uh, hopefully, what? hopefully, Cammy actually went to get me. In. Hold on. Oh. I saw a tell. news item. And you know what? Maybe it was the detoid. Um, but what it said was that Battlefield 3 was being made in conjunction with Battlefield Heroes. So what does that tell you, Mr. Uh, Robert Sumer? It tells me they're raping that franchise for everything they can get. That's what it tells me. Let's well, rape but it. But they're going to give away a free game and have well, ads. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know why people would complain with that. You know, Especially like, when other Battlefields not are Not like Call of Duty 4 raping you know, their franchise or it's anything. Not, it's not like Halo 3 raping their franchise. But it's not like this is the only Battlefield they're offering. They're still offering the traditional Battlefield for everybody. They just happen to have this free one that's... Like team but hold on, I gotta find this freaking article. Where the where the hell it? Maybe Kraken. it was the Destructoid. This, maybe let me look on the Detoid dot com. Um, ba 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 ba. I don't know. I guess I don't see it. Son of a bitch. Did I didn't make this up? Son I'm of positive a bitch. that I did not make it up. Can anyone help me out here? Is what, what's I, the problem? I'm I'm positive. Well, you were asking. Does this mean that this is the way that the battlefield? Well, I know. I'm just saying. I think Franchise it is. is I'm not go. asking. I I'm know. For I know it's going to go that what, way. What? You think it's all going to go free? No, no. I'm just no console. Everything's everything is getting geared towards console now, not PC. 
Just that, oh, you know, they're going to move the franchise from, right. you know, they want the majority of people to be on console. I, you know what? I thought Battlefield Modern Combat was actually a pretty fucking solid title for the 360, believe it or not. I don't know. Did you play it? Uh, I played it on PC. Yeah? I never played it on... Oh, no, I played 2142 on PC. I don't... No, I never... I played Modern Combat, the demo, when it came out, but it was, like, really laggy, and then when it did come out, oh, people really? were saying it was really laggy, and they were having oh. server problems, so I just never bothered. I had no problems. In fact, oh. it had dedicated servers on the 360, huh, and weird. I was actually quite fond of it. It was a lot of fun. It was it, fun. The demo was fun. Oh, yeah. I remember that. Oh, yeah. But I think it came out at a time where it just didn't matter anymore. Yeah. I don't remember what else was going on at that time. Mana Potion. Mana Potion. There it is right there. Dogs. Is two times in here still? Uh, I'm going to drink it now, right before our break. Uh, uh, two times. By the way, I uh, sent out your Playboy issue, my friend, today. So you should be getting it. Along um, with that Jason Rubin signed comic. I don't think there's anything negative about adding ads to games unless I'm already paying for the game. Now, if I paid for a game and ad supporting is going to give me, like, say, free online play for, say, like an MMO, I'm okay with that, too. I think that's the the way it's going to go, maybe. I mean, it depends on development costs, I guess. I mean, let's be let, let's be honest, guys. I mean, well, I mean people are go- but I think what they're tr- I think the reason they're doing going to start to do more of this is because of the p- whole pirating issue. It's like what's the point of Absolutely. maybe releasing and developing really deep games on the PC when they're just going to pirate anyway. Let's just release a stripped down version for free. Right. And then we'll just integrate the ads and right. make money from that or make people pay for microtransactions with it, which they can't you know pirate. Right. Absolutely. Maybe that's so, maybe that's why they're doing it. I I I'm I'm totally okay with the uh with the style obviously. I mean, it it worked for TF2. I'm totally okay with the ad insertions as long as they don't try to sneak in any sort of like little thing like Suma said, micro transactions or you know. Well, oh. and I think the point at which they lose uh players is when Money suddenly makes people have advantage. Where, yeah, like yeah. if I pay twenty bucks a month, I will be able to kill everybody and never die. Yeah, like, like my M sixteen is more powerful. Then no one's know. gonna play. Yeah, so I'm I'm guessing they're smart enough to to guard against that. All right, well we got a new caller on Deus Ex. What's up? Hey, what's up, guys? Not much, Jabber. My time has not yet come. Hey, um, a good idea for the uh, online distribution: use a program like Steam instead of. Um, releasing it online, and I read about the story about Battlefield 3, and I don't really like the idea of EA's microtransactions idea, especially with the issues that they've had in the past with the 360 games and whatnot. Tell me uh, tell me a little bit of what they do have planned for microtransactions, because this is the part that I am not f- totally for, familiar with. Battlefield uh, are you talking for about, Battlefield Are you talking because I didn't know that they actually said that they were indeed going to have you know, I see here the Battlefield the Heroes release, leads yeah. the way for EA's new play-for-free business model. So they do say right there EA's new play-for-free. Obviously, that means that they're going to try to, you know, put it on other things. I could totally see them doing it with Sims. Like, that seems to be a very yeah. logical game for that they would just give away for free. I don't free. know. They sell a lot of the box copies. And, well, you know, Sims players don't pirate stuff all the time either. Yeah, you're, Those are like moms because most stuff. Sim players are... Idiots, yeah, they're but, like moms. Um, let's see. So let's see. It's offered completely for free. Features built-in matchmaking system. Jeff says weapon system. outfits and upgrade on microtransaction. Weapon outfit. Wait, weapon what? Weapon outfits and upgrade on microtransaction. Okay, so we don't know if that means you know my weapon is gold or if that means my weapon shoots faster. Right. Right. But we also don't know. Do you unlock these same perks by playing the game? Right. Right. You know. Yeah, I think that's that a good I point. think we're I think we're at a point now where we just don't have enough information to make a logical conclusion about it all. Because if they do have microtransactions like that, who fucking cares if some guy wants to bust out his wallet and be like, "Yeah, take my twenty dollars. I want to unlock everything." <laughs> because you know what? The part of the fun for say something like COD four is unlocking all of it. Would it be any fun if all of a sudden you had fucking how did that get up there? I don't know. If all of a sudden you had, you know, your golden deagle and this and that, it, no, it wouldn't because part of the fun is getting XP. So yeah, because once you're there and you've experienced it for an hour, you're done. Right. But at the same token, um, you know, that I believe, and I and and my views have changed on this, uh, especially when Archlord, uh, you know, came out. 
I feel like if I don't have enough time to spend on the game, that I should have a buyout option. If that yeah, means that I'm willing to open up my pocketbooks to get these same sort of things, uh, so that I because I don't have 18 hours a day to play this game, I have one hour a day. So that means it would take me three years to get everything I want to get, but I could pay 25 bucks and get it all in a month and have an enjoyable experience. You know, at yeah. that point, you're not paying full price for a game. So what's the problem? You know, I'm pro that, but I'm also pro that because i'm a guy that has five bucks in my wallet you know i i realize that there is a large uh, audience of gamers out there that doesn't have five dollars in their pocket and it, and so it, you know from that perspective anything free to All play right, so we have fantastic. a quote from the new york times article about it I guess. okay um they said players can pay not only for decorative items like shoes and jerseys but also for boosts in their players' speed, agility, and accuracy, which is what we just said we fear. All right, so we fear that, but again, let's say this. So Archlord had a similar thing, all right? What was that? Alien? No, it was a phone going off. Archlord had a similar That's thing, right? You remember? Hold on, I'll turn it off. Yeah, you better yeah. fucking turn it off, buddy. Uh, yeah, I've got to take care of it. If you guys remember, Archlord, a free-to-play MMO, all right? Then you could go in, you could buy these special credits for like 15 bucks, and you could buy this like Talesman of XP. And what it would allow you to do is get XP at like a 30% faster rate. All right, so mm -hmm. with that being said, Suma, was there a problem with that? No. I, well, whoa. Well, there we go. Um, no, not necessarily because you could if you wanted to spend, like you said before, if you had the time, you could have spent that time in there and done it anyway. I only had an hour a day at most in Archlord to do stuff. So, you know, and plus I wanted to hurry up and, and do all the cool stuff, I guess. I okay. didn't I didn't want to take the time. I, I don't know if I right. I don't have a problem with the MMOs just because they're MMOs. So first right. person now, shooters that's where I, I wanted have a to problem go to. with when it's skill Absolutely. versus skill. If you're going to all of a sudden give someone increased accuracy, however, what if it's like yeah, this? What know. if it's an experience-based level system, whether that be like Battlefield 2 or like any of the other mm -hmm. multiplayer FPS games that have come out, where it says once you reach this rank, you have the ability to shoot better? You know, is it any different from Call of Duty 4 where you get the red dot sight or you get the ACOG scope so yeah. that you can have more range or that you have, like, you know, better accuracy? So let's just say that as a, as a non-paying user... But if I can't user, ever reach that better accuracy... That someone can through pain then it's unfair. right yeah. exactly that is exactly the point Suma is that you've got to give free players the ability to reach the same thing that people would be paying for otherwise you're just asking for imbalance right I mean you're yeah. just asking to see definitely imbalance all right so game. this this actually goes deeper for EA apparently okay uh their most recent experience with. By the way, we need to we need to we need to take a, a break. So let's finish this okay. off. So we're gonna take a quick break, then we're gonna come back. EA's right. most oh, by recent. By the way, I heard that uh, Call of Duty Four beat out Halo Three. What? What? For are you? What? Heard, Wait, ju what just now you off of Xbox Live. Wow. Are you serious? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good job. Good job. Who would have thought? Who would have thunk? Good um, game. Yeah. So EA's free online games began two years ago in South Korea. Of course. Yes. <laughs> Actually, I've heard about uh, the this. company With introduced a, right? no. The company introduced a free version of FIFA, um, hmm. and EA's executive vice president for publishing said that it signed up more than five million Korean users well, and yeah, generates more than one million dollars in monthly in-game sales. Holy fuck. Well, dude, don't forget that Holy crap. don't forget that Korea and China are the land of microtransactions. Right. right. The fucking yeah. land. I cannot tell you how many goddamn games I played where you can buy like a little fucking pink dress for your avatar and it costs you like eight dollars and people are all decked out in that shit. Like really. Yeah. Why do people do that? And it's just a it's a it's a style of gaming over there. It's acceptable. Um, why? I have no fucking clue. Like, thank God we are a bunch of, of greedy, stingy, Americanized dickheads over here that won't <laughs> stand for that because that has just got to be the most ridiculous shit ever. And I don't want to see... You know, yeah, I'm not paying 99 cents for those extra pain characters. Yeah, fuck I really that, don't man. Care. It doesn't really matter if I fucking fuck. have the, the the default character, exactly. or the one they let me unlock. The game's exactly the same. Yeah, I, I mean, uh, I mean, I yeah, that. I'll criticize yeah. Sony for that one because 
uh, charging 99 cents for a one extra character yes. that should have been included BS. in a ten dollar game that BS. is bullshit mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and i refuse to pay for that well, i'll tell I you what like i'll tell you what guys we will pick this topic of discussion back up in addition if you've got questions whether it be about the show whether it be anything technical regarding tvs computers all that shit we're not only a call-in discussion show, but we'd also like to be a call-in for help. And I know you can Sup- name it Critical Hit too. Sup- no, <laughs> not, not gonna do that. Uh, we could, uh, you know, well, Suma's not gonna help you, but I will. So I'll tell you what. Let's go ahead and break for just a moment. I'm gonna play a little song, and when we come back, we will have more. Uh, what call-in brawl? Call-in brawl. Call-in brawl. All right, guys. This is DJ Wheat. From Epileptic Gaming. We'll be right back. <laughs> 